So what we have here, so tell us a little bit more about the plant. Okay, we can Anything start here because this of. is the corner right now. <laughs> yeah, we put the, the aloe vera in, which is one of the medicinal plants, and it is an edible plant. Very good for you. I think that's an aloe vera yeah, plant. Aloe vera. Okay, aloe vera is very good, yes. actually. Now, I yeah. don't know the purpose for the elephant ear. These were dropped off uh, the night before we put them in, and I didn't have a chance to talk to the guy who dropped them off. So this is something I'll learn on Saturday. You know what, what's the what's the purpose? I personally love the plants when I was overseas in the tropics, over in Asia. These plants were growing, and these leaves get as big as a car, a small car, but they get big. So you have this nice shade plant here. I don't think they're edible though. Folks out there in video land, when you see this great shot of these elephant ears, you can chime in below in the comments and say what they're good for. Yeah, and then yeah. I can find out. Yeah. And Mike will find out and I'll probably put it in the captions. Okay, these are some more elephant ears here, right? Yeah, that is. Yeah. Now, this, I don't know what this is. This was in a bigger pot. They broke it up. Um, are we talking about these things that look the, like sticks? Yeah, the sticks. It is a plant. I don't know what. Okay. Most of this is going to obviously be growing over the next few weeks. And all of this has been planned. It's yes. all planned. Some is it, are in seedling form, some are seeds yeah, we that we farm. can't see. These are, this is some type of food. They, they came in with a lot of lettuces, a lot of winter lettuces that will thrive out here if the, the weather gets cold. Which is basically from here, all of these mixed in are various types of edibles. Various types of edibles? Yes. Can you point a, a, one of the types of edibles the out to us? The only thing that I know for sure is that we got stinging nettle right there. What is that? Stinging nettle. Stinging nettle, yeah, I okay. I remember that one from up north. That stuff is not pleasant to run. No, into. you touch that and you are burning. So people out in video land, what's stinging nettle for? It's uh, good for something. It's medicinal, I know that, but I don't know. Medicinal. I'd have to look it up, yeah. Wow, there's a lot of, a lot more plants coming in now. Where? Where Just do you all over the place. I, when they did the planting, there were 30 people mixed into the bed, so it was kind of hard to see what they were doing. But now stuff is starting to stand up again. Point point to something that's grown that you're you're thinking about now. Well, these that. are standing up now. Okay. Do you know what those are? No, I don't. We'll have the information. Okay, like red cabbage is what it is because they, they put the, the sign down. You see that? It's red. It is. It's red. And that thing will be a lot bigger. It'll be a lot bigger. And then we had the kale, which I know this one because we grew it here. This is our little kale plant. There's three of them here. Okay, point to that again so you can get your There's finger in the... thing right here. Okay, that's kale. Starting. We didn't start it, but we, uh, we babysat the plant for about a week and we didn't kill it, so I'm happy. Here's the sign. Now yeah. you get that sign. Uh, could you read that sign for us, Mike? Yeah. It says the Garden of Common uh, Good is created and maintained by gardeners and organizations in our community. Please join us in planning and caring for our commons while helping us to protect the post office from theft and privatization. Uh, gardening Saturdays, Saturdays at, noon. at noon. So. Um, can people come down and Anybody. participate? Yes, this is for the community. This is for the people. This is a people's garden. Do you know what this little tree-like affair is? I don't know what the tree is. is. I believe... Again, if you... Right Wait a minute. But I'm not sure. I want to get the, this little tree. So, people out there who are looking at this, you can probably identify it. Where's the milkweed now? I thought they put it in over here, but I don't know what it looks like. I wonder what this plant is. These were planted, but I don't know what they are. Okay, we have some real horticulture experts <laughs> yeah. out here, and they know what this stuff is, and they're going to probably a lot of them be here on Saturday, but they're not here today. Yeah, because it's a work in progress. We only got the planting done. Um, we managed to get all this done in two hours, because wow. we want to do very quickly so they can't interfere with what we were doing. But now, this Saturday, uh, more wood chips, 
and then we're going to try to get some literature out here and educate at least the occupiers on what's out here so we can talk to people like you coming through and, and let them know what's going on. Well, this will be a, a first a first shot. This is the very beginning of the garden, but a lot more is going to happen as this garden grows. That's what's neat about gardens. They develop. They grow. And this is going to be here for a while. If the You have to explain about the... Um, the postal cops, how does that work? The post office has their own police? Yeah, yeah federal I, I don't police. That. To, to deal they're with the. They're federal police? Yes, they are federal police. They're, I guess their job is, as postmaster generals and federal cops, or federal police, postal police, is to, uh, I guess, deal with uh, mail theft and investigations of fraud and stuff like that. But they come out here and threw these people out. Yeah. They have that power. Um, I dispute that, but. They, uh, the idea was that these people were on postal property. Is that right? That's what they say, yeah. 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 And the uh, the gear that was here was abandoned gear because the people whose tents and sleeping bags were out here had to go get food or had to go take care of personal business. Anything that was left unattended, they cleaned out. And that was starting from in that parking lot all the way down to that food. It was they, this whole place from the parking lot, right. which you can't really see from here, I think it's by that tree, that far tree yeah. there, yeah. all the way down here was tents of homeless people. Well, they, didn't, the they only had only to like the yellow line for the bushes start right here. They didn't go all the way because there were cars parked there. But definitely the entrance to the parking lot was covered with two tents, maybe three. And then there were little tents in here. There was a big tent here. And then a couple more little tents that filled in Big all the tent way right there. Yeah, and this was a huge tent. Oh, uh, right in this area, a big one. And then there were little ones up to the corner. Right. Yeah. Now, when yeah. the postal police came in, they managed to get all these guys out of here. And then they managed to get the ones off the steps out of here. But our little thing, they didn't manage to move because we told them straight up, arrest us. We're not going anyplace. You're going to have to take us to jail. They didn't want to push it. What they said is we were subject to arrest, and then they presented us with a list of laws that apply that really don't apply, and then their list of regulations that apply that we're not in violation of. The, and it says right in regulations um, where we're located. If you cannot tell the public sidewalk from the postal property, if there is no visible difference, and it, you know as adjacent sidewalks you're allowed to use it, it says it right there in their information, and where we're set up, it is identical. So. Can we walk back there and you yeah. show me that? 